Hi guys, in this video, I'll be talking about how you can create a well-organized data science resume. Many people have the question uh, how we can create our uh, data science resume, how we can uh, like mention our projects there and uh, what kinds of template we should uh, let's say choose. So these kinds of question I usually get a lot. So in this video, I'll be uh, talking about uh, some of the points actually you have to remember whenever you are preparing your resume. So guys, you can see uh, this is uh, one resume template I have selected and this resume actually I created long back uh, actually this was like my old resume uh, but uh, still I follow the same template still I follow the same let's say techniques whenever I create any kinds of resume. So guys, whenever you are creating any kinds of resume, try to select a simple template. Okay, you don't need to take any fancy template because what happens nowadays, uh, nowadays company use something called ATS system. So with the help of that, they will automatically process the resume. So it applies something called OCR that means optical character recognizer. And whenever you are uh, taking like fancy template, let's say with lots of color gradient, what happens? So what happens? Uh, sometimes this OCR fails to extract the information. Okay. And because of that, it will miss out actually some uh, relevant uh, skills or let's experience uh, from your resume and it won't be able to match that skills and experience with that job description okay that's why your resume probability would be very less there so instead of using the fancy template try to use the simple template like that okay the template actually i have shown you here so here you can see i'm not using any color template so it's a very uh, basics and simple template i'm using so first of all try to write your name then your designation and try to write your profile okay so in the profile section try to write about yourself okay in a short let's say paragraph so here you can see I have written a data scientist and lecturer with 2.6 years of working experience in the field of machine learning, deep learning, microcontrollers, okay, and so on. That means uh, here I have specified uh, what is my actually expertise and uh, uh, how many years of experience I'm having, even uh, what kinds of let's say uh, task I can solve. So everything I have mentioned in just a shorter paragraph. So that's how you can also create your uh, shorter paragraph and you can mention in the profile section. Then you can mention your employment history or your experiences if you have already worked with like let's say a different different company. So the companies you are currently working on or let's say the company you have left okay just recently. So those are the company you can mention with a uh, like say proper name. Then you can also mention what is your joining date, what is your let's say end date and uh, what is your actually key responsibility there in the company okay. You can mention everything in a bullet point. So if you go through this template you will automatically get it okay how to mention them. Even uh, you can see I have also highlighted the skills okay and my responsibility whatever actually I was uh, working there then you have to mention your project so in the project part just try to mention the project title and the starting date and the ending date and you have to also mention the github url okay and make sure your project should be end to end and you also need to manage the readme file okay so you have to always organize your readme file there you can mention like how to set up your project what kinds of problem statement you are solving okay so each and everything you can mention there now here you can explain about your project like what your project can do okay what are the technology you are using in a bullet point so in this case let's say i have written automated the end-to-end -end process of attendance of the employee uh, in the company using deep neural network computer vision and mongodb database so here i have specified here we are creating an automatic attendance system using deep neural network computer vision and mongodb database and we are reducing four hours of manual attendees working time per day okay so that's how you can also mention like how your project is helping then here i mentioned created a desktop application using kinter and python for the employees so that they can interact easily okay so here i was using kinter and python so that thing i have also mentioned then i mentioned used empty cnn for detecting the face and arc face uh, for extracting the face embedding and recognition so whatever let's say tools and technology whatever models are you using you can mention in that way and it can reduce actually workload by 50 percent okay so these are the key point you can like let's say create and you can mention in the project section and no need to mention too much of bullet point okay so just try to make it as clean and try to use at least three to four let's say bullet point and try to mention everything there so you can see this is another project i have mentioned so again the project name starting date ending date and the github url so if i show you my github so see it's a proper well organized github i have prepared so here you can see i have written each and everything like how we can set up the like let's say this project how it is helping us okay what is the solution description everything i have like mentioned here so that's how you also need to uh, like manage your git uh, readme file you can also take different different screenshot of your project and you can also mention them so that if anyone is coming to your project definitely uh, they will able to understand okay by reading the readme file okay how your project works 
then uh, this project is also hosted on over the PyPy website. So I also given the link. So if anyone is interested, so they will visit here and definitely they will get to know. Okay, so this is a package and we can use it for this particular specific task. So that's how guys you can mention your project. Okay. And apart from that, you can also mention your details, then online profile and skills. Okay. Like that. So apart from that, I also mentioned some of the project. You can mention at least uh, three to four project. And always remember the project you are mentioning, try to first of all, check the job description. So whatever, let's say skills, whatever roles they are looking for, try to mention your project in that way. Let's say they're looking for a machine learning developer. Try to mention machine learning related project. No need to mention any computer vision or NP related project. Okay. So that's how first of all, try to read the job description with respect to that. Try to upgrade your resume. Okay. All the skills, all the project you can upgrade. Apart from that, you can also mention your education, then research and publication. If you have, let's say you have published some of the paper, you can also mention here. Then if you have some awards, you can also mention. Even you can also specify the link. If you have some certification, you can also mention. And if you have taken any online lectures, okay, or let's say any kinds of community lectures, okay, which uh, you contacted for the community and people enjoyed your session. So if you have these kinds of extracurricular activities, you can also mention them, okay. And always try to maintain two page resume. If you are completely fresher, try to create in just one page. And if you have the experience, try to mention in two pages, okay. So guys, uh, that's how we can uh, create our data science resume and we can mention the project's experience, okay, in that way. And always try to maintain the clarity. Always try to make your resume simple, okay. No need to add like so many information there, unnecessary information because recruiters doesn't have that much of time to go through all the let's say text you have written on okay on your resume so that's why clean resume is always preferable okay so if you need uh these kinds of tips guys you can let me know uh, you can connect me anytime and definitely i'll uh, guide you with that with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time